Welcome back to the rudder and Antoinette, uh, you'll notice once again we are locked at home and we're going to do a bit of a review of the Fab Dog. Fab Dog, which is the dock that we use to keep Antoinette out of the water, out of the salt water. Um, so Antoinette is not anti-fouled, so the fab dock is a barrier between the water and the boat. So we're going to have a bit of a look at how that works. Uh, also we can't go out at the moment. If you follow the channel, and I'd really love it if you could subscribe, you'll notice the last week we had some pretty uh, serious flooding. That has gone down really well, we're quite impressed with that but it means there is lots of debris in the water so we are not going out. FabDock is an inflatable dry docking solution that you know, is environmentally friendly so you don't have to anti-foul your boat. It is a very high quality PVC inflatable. So the inflatable section comes in, there's three separate bits each side and then the gate at the back which falls down uh, when you deflate it. Then it has a membrane at the bottom that, it does the, that the boat actually sits on. The underside of that does get a lot of growth on it and I've noticed the fish quite like that. And in the middle of that there are two really large bilge pumps that pump the water out. This is the Gold Coast company, they've been around for about 10 years I believe, but they now ship around the world. And this was actually a second hand unit, we found this online. Abdoc moved it over and installed it and did all the work for us, so yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at how it works. This is a 10 metre fab dock. Uh, it is fully inflatable, so you can walk on it. And if you have a look on the inside, it's, it doesn't have netting as other brands do. It is just a plastic membrane connected to the dock through a series of ropes, sort of just like you almost you would with your boat, but you can put on as many ropes as you want. And obviously they all stay the entire time you the fab dock is here. It also means that because this is all inflatable, it is portable. It's, it's not easily portable, but it, um, as opposed to some other brands that use hard plastic, you can roll this all up and move it. Uh, it is a large process, but you can do it if you move house. So yeah, the whole thing is inflatable. Uh, there's valves here that you do need to fill up every now and then to um, keep the air pressure up to it. And watch when you want to go out from here you can see the big yellow lines the whole back of the fab dock hello my the whole back of the fab dock drops down all fills with water and off you go so we're gonna do it in and out show you how the fab dock works uh, so you can also have a look at it when it's empty and basically to start the process you just have to Ooh. Let the air out. So that air is connected to this, and you can already see it, I can't stand that anymore, is going down. There are some lead pipe in here, which helps sink this all down. But it does take a little bit, and if you are uh, impatient you can give it a bit of assistance so if you were getting ready to go out you'd just you could start this filling up and you just keep on loading the boat while it while it sinks away so we've trimmed the engines down now the fab dock's down I don't trim them all the way down just to keep the props away from the fab dock that's under there uh, and now you just get ready to go like you usually would. All along the side, it's all full of water. Um, I use just some little fenders here to keep any sharp bits away. But you've got a few ropes still securing the boat. Depending on which way the wind's going, you might need to take an eye on that. So what I'm gonna do is pull the boat out, pull Antoinette out, and uh, so you can have a look at what the fab dock looks like when it is not got a boat on it. Okay, so we are ready to go. The trim is up. And then you just gently give a little bit of power.
And remember, it's all plastic, so if you bump into it a little bit, it doesn't matter too much. So we'll be clear of the, of the fab dock now, so I can put the engines down. Get clear of the pontoon. and we're away. Now we'll just pretend we've had a great day out in the water and we're heading back in to put Antoinette away. So when we're ready to make our approach, just like approaching any other pontoon, you don't want to go faster than you're willing to hit things, but essentially all you've got to do is just get your bow into the middle of the fat dock. So just nice and gently. Coming in. So we're coming in nice and gently, just aiming the nose into the fab dock. Just trim the engine a little bit. So the nose is now in the dock, so I can turn the wheel a bit to straighten up. And the fab dock cushions us. It'll reverse to take some of the power off. And the fab dock's nice and cushioning us. A bit more trim up, because I just don't want to touch the... And just gently drive into the end of the fab dock. and we're back home. Easy as that. It does make landing on the, a bit easier, and we're home. And then our trusty deckhand will pass us a rope. So once we've got the rope, we can just pull ourselves in, and you can keep your ropes at the length that work for your boat. So we're on. Here we are back again. Just need to put your ropes on. And the nice thing is that your ropes pretty much stay the same because you're always bringing in the same boat. You will notice Antoinette does bounce around in the fab dock while it's filled with water. Um, we do put in a fender on either side to try and keep it as it settles down. It could settle anywhere in the fab dock, so if you put a fender in, just make sure it centers it a little bit. So it's two steps to putting your fab dock away. And this is something that is pretty unique to fab dock. We haven't used any power yet, but all the power for to raise the gate at the back and to pump the water out is all from your boat. So it's all from your batteries. So it's a simple cl clicking collector there for your uh, air pump. So it does use your battery power. This does mean that a fab dock can be used on a swing mooring, which is um, you know, something really different because it can, is all powered from the boat. You don't need shore power. So a very simple air pump. Uh, it's preset to um, how much pressure you want, but it's uh, 25 kPa. Turn that on. And it's pumping up the rear gate. Doesn't take too long for the gate to come up. So the air is coming through here, pumping up the rear gate. Got to have your engines trimmed up at this point. Key thing to remember. And that's it. It's a fairly simple process. In the bottom of the fab dock, 
are two very large bilge pumps. So that's what pumps all the water out. They're actually located at the very bottom of the fab dock underneath Antoinette. So here comes the fab dock out of the murky depths, just creating that barrier again. Uh, this process only takes about three minutes. As I mentioned, one of the great things about Fab Dock is you can walk on this. So if you were doing your boat clean down, you can walk around the other side of the boat. You can get under here. Um, so yeah, you can walk on these. It's a little bit slippery. Got to mind your step. But um, yeah, so it's a good thing you can move all the way around the boat. The second step is obviously to pump all the water out. So we... Disconnect the air. Secure that. So the second step is the bilge pump. As I mentioned, they are underneath Antoinette at the moment and they're connected by this very heavy duty cable. That goes around to the same connection point in here. If you ever got a fab dock, they'd tell you about this, but it's a simple, just put the arrow to the arrow. Now there's a computer that controls the bilge pumps. So if you have a look at the end here, the computer's just working out what's connected to it and will determine that there's two bilge pumps there. So we should see a little test in the next 20 seconds or so. So there's the two bilge pumps, the computer's identified them, and now it'll start pumping the water out. That is pretty much it for how the fab dock works. As it pumps the water out, it does take maybe about 90 minutes, an hour and a half, to pump all the water out. There is a computer attached to it, so it does sense when water gets into the bilge from rain. It'll also, once it's pumped all the water out, it'll turn off, wait 30 minutes for more water to seep into that very bottom of the fab dock, then pump it out again. I hope you enjoyed that tour of the fab dock and, and why we really do like this product. Uh, just, it keeps Antoinette very clean. As I mentioned, she doesn't have anti-foul, so that's a nice cost saving. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and as always, please like and subscribe.